Come in, please. It, it's cold in the hall. Good evening. Mrs. Whittaker? My secretary, Miss Price. I do beg your pardon. Is there news? He hasn't returned, then. Nor has he telephoned. Is he political at all? I don't think so. I, I hardly know him, to be honest. Why? Been a nasty show in London. Quite a riot. He struck me as a gentle sort of chap. His parents were drowned sailing a month or so ago. Or rather, his adopted parents. It's been a very emotional time for him. I wish he'd come home. Just a little while ago, they were sailing from Falmouth to the Sillies. It was something they'd always planned. Go on. Just keep talking. It can be very treacherous, that sea. I thought they were my mother and father. I didn't know that I was adopted. Does it matter? I thought I was their son. I don't know who I am anymore, where I belong. Join the club, mate. I feel scared, I suppose. Alone. I've got my dad. What about your mother? She died. I'm sorry. My auntie looked after us. Have you any brothers and sisters? <laughs> yeah. Younger. One of each. I haven't. This geezer in... Where was it? Newcastle. Mr. Whittaker. I don't really know. I wish they'd hurry. Are you... Just keep talking. There was this box of letters. Things of my parents. The real ones. That's why I came here. There were letters addressed to this house. I wanted to ask them why they got rid of me. Hey, man. Maybe they just had to. Maybe they're dead. Maybe they couldn't keep you anymore. You had nice folks to look after you. What more do you want? I don't know. I want to find them so that I know who I am. But you're you. Like I'm me. But I don't know who that is. You. Whether you like it or not, you. I think I killed that man. What does that make me? A murderer? I wasn't a murderer this morning. You were protecting yourself. That makes it all right, does it? I'll tell his old lady I was protecting myself, missus. That's why he's dead. I hated him. I didn't even know his name and I hated him. I don't know. It's all right. All right. I want to go home. So I. Hell, we are miserable, aren't we? Boys in blue. The ambulance. Yeah. It's a police car. They shot me. Who? Boy and girl. I never did know their name. Oh, yeah, they said, didn't they? What was it? Sam and Max. you. We need an ambulance. He's hurt. Need an ambulance. Somebody's hurt up here. They had to call the police. But they didn't want to be here when they arrived. Will you find my dad if I give you the number? Yes. Thanks. 
My name's Peter. Did I say that? Well, what would you have done? Just left him? It was totally irresponsible to go down to London without letting me know. I've already said I'm sorry. I thought I'd be back in time. I do not like involving the police. I cannot have a delinquent living in my house. I am Vincent Whittaker, one of the most respected solicitors in the entire Northeast. I cannot have a delinquent here. Is that all you're worried about? Your precious reputation? How dare you? I was worried about you. I had no idea where you were, what might have happened to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I couldn't leave him. Honestly, I couldn't. I had to stay where I was most needed. Confound those bells. Don't take it out on the bells. What will happen to him if he did kill that man? Children who play with fire must learn that they can get burnt. Is it worth a journey? If you mean, did I find out anything about my parents? No. Waste of money, then. The law will deal with your friend. But the law will never understand Peter's feelings. Feelings are far too personal. The law deals with facts. Facts? If we were all judged on facts, there wouldn't be any love. That's a very large word for a very young man. You're quite right to stay with him. I do know rather a good chap in Gray's Inn who might help. He hasn't got money. No. Well, there are always ways around that. We must see what we can do. I was worried, do you see, about you. I haven't had anyone to worry about for centuries. He was like me, Peter. Oh? Maybe not. Well, say it all the same. The others all had axes to grind. They were all there for a reason. Politics? I don't know. I mean, I think they were all caring in their own ways. No, not Dave. He was... Oh, I can't explain him. He was politics. Peter said people. I mean, here I am. I do miss my mother and father. I hope I won't be a drag about it. But you see, it's the first time that I've been home and they're not here. As for the others, my real parents. Yes. Well, they're a challenge. We might find them, if that's what you want. By the by, I wrote to my friend in Munich, Gunter Walser. You like him. He used to be what was called a, a hippie. I asked him about that name, Gruber. It's a long shot, but it's mentioned in the letters more than once. Do you get over grief? I knew them all my life. I may have been adopted, but they are my mother and father. I thought we might spend Christmas at Bambra, if you'll invite them to stay in your cottage, Billy. I'd like that. Thank you. Whiskey? I'm under age. Such delights you have ahead. Thank you.